Hi, Katja. How is the hyena doing? She is doing very, very well. She has settled in. She is relaxed. She has made herself a straw bed in our facility and she actually ate her supper last night. Have you named the cub? We have made, named her Juno. Uh, what is uh, the prognosis on the fact that the cub was severely dehydrated, the, dehydrated, the paws were also uh, very um, scratched given the fact that uh, you know, the cub was walking on concrete for quite an extended period of time, 20 kilometers in fact? I think the paws are really damaged because people have been chasing it and it's been running on the concrete as you mentioned and we're hoping that these paws will heal in a couple of weeks time. We're also hoping that she will recover from the ordeal and can be reunited with her family. Is she walking around? She is walking around, she's alert, she's bright and she's eating. When do you expect full recovery? Um, we're hoping to reunite, reunite her with her family in about two to three weeks time. Do you have any clue as to how the cub uh, escaped from the Cliffendale Nature Reserve? We don't know. We're trying to find out. It's even not established that she comes from Cliffendale. We assume that they are there, but it's not confirmed. Um, her mother was seen on Saturday night, and we assumed this cub was with her and was separated at the time. And where was the mother? Where was the mother found? Was um, uh, the mother she, at Cliffendale? She was spotted in Randburg. Is there a concern that it might have been kept as a pet somehow? No, she's wild. She's wild. Uh, does, how often does this happen? Do we see issues like this occurring before? I think we see a lot more in uh, conflict between humans and wildlife as we're encroaching onto their natural habitat, as we're coming more and more into our green belts, more and more into, closer to our reserves. Uh, do we see this happening? Uh, is it a, becoming a more common occurrence? It's something we see all the time. There's always animals brought in to the Johannesburg Zoo, like tortoises they find in the roads, hedgehogs, which have wandered in, servals, uh, genets, caracals, everything is found in the neighbourhoods and if injured or uh, problematic will be brought in. And residents of Legari and Randburg in general were in high alert because once you hear a hyena, uh, there isn't a really good uh, stigma attached to this type of animal. Uh, what kind of advice would you give to residents if things like this occur where you see a wild animal running on the streets? Obviously the wild animal is dangerous if it is cornered. If she's put in a corner, she will defend herself, she will bite. The best way is actually to leave the animal in peace, stay away from it, and it will actually go back to where it came from. Are you surprised that the hyena traveled 20 kilometers? They have huge home ranges in um, other areas, so we're not sure how big the home ranges are in Johannesburg, but home ranges of 20 kilometers are normal for a brown hyena. So overall, the cub is doing well, had supper last night, again, you, everything is looking good. You're not concerned about uh, the overall outcome. We are not concerned. We're hoping she's going to make a full recovery and can be reunited with her family. Fantastic. News that moves. ENCA.com.